Hello everyone, my name is Sharbel al Kafrawi, and I will be presenting our work titled The Duke Activity Status Index Predicts Postoperative Complications After Colorectal Surgery. Here are my disclosures. Complications are common after colorectal surgery. They can have a major negative impact on the quality of life and long-term survival of patients, in addition to burdening the healthcare system with increased costs related to surgical care. Therefore, preventing complications remains a target for quality improvement. Evidence supports that patients with lower preoperative functional capacity have a higher risk for developing postoperative complications. So estimating functional capacity is an important component of risk assessment before surgery. Yet, in everyday practice, clinicians often rely on subjective judgments to predict the risk of complications, but this approach has questionable predictive accuracy. Alternatives such as cardiopulmonary exercise testing and the six-minute walk test can accurately assess preoperative fitness, but they are resource-intensive and require dedicated staff and equipment which are not available in many centers. So what if we can use a simple tool to accurately predict postoperative complications after colorectal surgery? The Duke Activity Status Index, or DASI, is a short self-reported measure of functional capacity that was found to correlate well with objective exercise tests. All questions are dichotomous, requiring a yes-no answer, and a specific score is given for each positive response. The possible total scores range from 0 to 58.2, and the higher scores represent better functional capacity. Recent literature suggests that the DASI is a strong predictor of adverse postoperative outcomes in patients at risk for cardiovascular events after non-cardiac surgery. However, the prognostic value of this tool in unselected patients undergoing elective colorectal surgery remains uncertain. We hypothesized that this questionnaire can be a simple and valuable tool to predict complications after colorectal surgery. And our aim was to estimate the extent to which the DASI predicts 30-day postoperative complications in patients undergoing colorectal surgery. We analyzed data from patients recruited for a randomized control trial previously done by our group, assessing the impact of staff-assisted early mobilization on postoperative outcomes. Eligible patients were adults above 18 years old undergoing colonic or rectal resection and an enhanced recovery pathway at our institution in Montreal. Other exclusion criteria are shown here. All patients completed the DASI questionnaire two weeks before their surgery. In addition, 30-day complications were recorded prospectively and were graded by severity according to Clavien Dendo. Complications were further quantified using the Comprehensive Complication Index. Our primary analysis focused on the relationship between preoperative DASI scores and the occurrence of any postoperative complication within 30 days. Secondary analyses targeted the relationship between preoperative DASI scores with 30-day severe postoperative complications, 30-day CCI scores, 30-day hospital readmissions, and hospital length of stay. In addition, a recent article suggests that patients with DASI scores lower than 34 experience an increased risk of postoperative complications. For that reason, we conducted exploratory analyses focused on the relationship between preoperative DASI scores lower than 34 and the outcomes previously mentioned. To account for potential confounders, all of our analyses were adjusted for prognostic factors of postoperative morbidity after colorectal surgery and those included age, sex, ASA score, surgery type and approach, and disease type. A total of 171 patients were screened for eligibility, 24 met exclusion criteria, 47 did not consent, and 100 were finally included in this study. The median age of our sample was 63 years. 57% of our patients were men, 81% of surgeries were laparoscopic, and 37% were rectal surgeries. The mean preoperative DASI score was 48, and 16 patients had preoperative DASI scores lower than 34. 46 patients experienced complications within 30 days, eight of which experienced severe complications. The mean 30-day CCI score was 9.6, the mean hospital length of stay was 5.3 days, 
and 11 patients were readmitted to the hospital within 30 days after discharge. In our primary analysis, lower preoperative DASI scores were associated with a significantly higher risk of overall complications. Similarly, lower DASI scores were also associated with a higher risk of 30-day severe complications and 30-day CCI increase. Preoperative DASI scores lower than 34 were also associated with an increased risk of complications, severe complications, as well as 30-day CCI score increase. Additionally, preoperative DASI scores were independent predictors of 30-day hospital readmissions, but they were not associated with a significant increase in hospital length of stay. These results were maintained when scores were dichotomized according to our cutoff. To our knowledge, this is the first study focused on assessing the extent to which preoperative DASI scores predict outcomes after colorectal surgery. Our results corroborate previous findings in other surgical populations, but more importantly, they contribute new evidence regarding the prognostic value of preoperative DASI in unselected patients undergoing colorectal surgery. This means that preoperative screening of patients scheduled for colorectal surgery using DASI might identify vulnerable patients with lower functional capacity and enable preoperative interventions, so for example, prehabilitation, to reduce postoperative complications. That being said, our study needs to be considered in light of some limitations. Our sample consisted of patients involved in an RCT rather than a consecutive clinical cohort. So we can't exclude a potential for selection bias. For example, patients with severe lower physical status were underrepresented in our sample. Additionally, our study involved testing of multiple secondary hypotheses, which may have led to spurious significant findings with our exploratory outcomes. Yet, our sample size may have lacked sufficient power to detect a significant association between preoperative DASI and hospital length of stay. Finally, given the high prevalence of laparoscopic surgery and the established enhanced recovery pathway at our institution, our results may only be generalizable to similar contexts of care. In conclusion, our results show that the Duke Activity Status Index is a significant predictor of postoperative complications after colorectal surgery. The questionnaire provides a simple tool to identify patients with low preoperative functional capacity, which may help target interventions to those at high risk of postoperative complications. With that, I end my talk and I thank you very much for listening.